New market, y'all. New day, new market, man. Market's turning, right? Market's turning. Interest rates are rising. Sellers are getting scared. That's great. I love it. You know what happened after 08? I made freaking millions because sellers were scared. Now I'm helping Aaron. Helping Aaron make it millions. Right, Aaron? You, my friend, are making good decisions. First of all, you have money, but it's in California. So you're like, hey, F this. You 1031 that shit out of California. You're like, screw you, communism. Freaking DX. So good. That's what I like to hear. By the way, DX, 25-year anniversary show on Raw was Monday. Today's mo uh, Wednesday. That's two days ago. It was dope. You should have checked it out, Aaron. Anyway, uh, Aaron, so you're 1031 in your money out of Cali. Great. Smart. We're doing a deal together, a nice, beautiful quad. This one, a little smaller, this is a duplex, but what we can do, how we could uh, take advantage of the factors that are at play with this property is incredibly impressive, dude. Like with where we're at in the market, where we're at with interest rates, where we're at with the seller, where we're at with the tenants that are in there. Dude, I'm projecting you creating 20K of equity, getting a 52% ROI, and just making, like, mad super money, super awesome, awesome like DX. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. I am James Wise, and I am here to help you make money. I'm going to be running the numbers on a real deal. You want to be here. Yeah, we're going to go out of state, but, of course, you know my team's going to take care of that. Let's check it out. Welcome to the show, y'all. I will be your host. My name is James, the host with the most deal flow, baby. This deal right here is going to make a lot of money, okay? And it's not specifically about this specific house. Like, it is. This is the house we're talking about. Uh, but it's really about where we're at today in the market what we're doing as investors, man. First of all, we're going to be utilizing the Burr strategy. Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat, right? That makes a ton of money. I've made millions doing that, number one. Number two, I also made millions in relation to the housing crash of 08. And then for 14 years, prices just went up. So I made a lot of money, right? You buy low, you sell high, you do really, really well in this business, right? Well, where are we at today? We're starting to teeter back down, y'all. Teetering back down, okay? That's where opportunities are for buyers, right? And then everybody, well, not everybody, but a lot of people that come to Holton Wise TV to buy properties from my team, you guys do so because your cash goes so much further, right? And that's very important right now. Why? Because why is the market teetering? Because the Fed forced it to happen because they freaking doubled interest rates in the last, like, three freaking days, essentially. That's what it feels like, right? Over six months, we went from three to, like, seven or something. I, dude, it's out of control, right? It's out of control, and the real estate market's teetering because of it, right? So a lot of you guys come here because we focus on the best, most affordable markets in the USA. This one, the Cleveland market, 327 4th Street, Elyria, Ohio. Most people watching the show, unless you've seen another one of my episodes, you've never heard of Elyria. It's in the Cleveland market, though, okay? It's a little suburb, maybe like half hour west of Cleveland, okay? Cleveland is great because properties are really, really cheap. This particular property is $64,900. You might think, oh, maybe it's a freaking rundown shanty that's got nothing going on, or maybe it's a teardown. No. Actually, this is pretty crazy. This is really good, and this is really going to help us capitalize on where we're at in the market today. We're going to take advantage of all the specific situations in the market and some mistakes the seller made, right? So here's what we have. First of all, Elyria, just so you're aware too, very important. If you're investing in the Cleveland market, you got to know Cleveland like the back of your hand. That's why I've developed the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods for you. This is where I've graded all the neighborhoods in the Cleveland area on an A to F scale. Elyria is in there. That's in the notes below. Read that. Like CB neighborhood, I like it. We have a lot of cash flow rentals. I actually specifically like Elyria more than the city of Cleveland. It's more landlord friendly, and that's really important for a lot of people coming to us out of state, right? Think about my people in New Jersey, New York, and California. You got oh, Portland? Oh, don't get me started on that shithole Portland. Anywho, seriously, fuck Portland. Anyway, like, no, really, like, fuck Portland. That's like the crappiest, like, the whole state of Oregon can get fucked. Anyway, 
This particular property, though, right? Uh, duplex. We got two tenants, landlord-friendly area, right? Cleveland, it's not the most landlord-friendly city in a very landlord-friendly state, which is Ohio, right? Ohio's a red state, but the actual city of Cleveland itself is blue, right? Just so everybody's aware, I know some people watch the show and they're like, ah, what does politics have to do with real estate? Get the politics out. I'm just here for real estate. Well, if you believe that, you're stupid and you should really pay attention to my show because you need help, you need education because if you don't understand the very simple concept that politics and what happens in real estate are so intertwined, it's insane. Uh, please, 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 please subscribe. Don't send me any of your money. Don't try to buy any properties yet. Don't buy properties at home either. You are not ready to invest in real estate if you don't understand the relationship between the government and how you are then going to be able to run your business as a real estate investor. Politics are incredibly important, right? And if you're trying to be a landlord, you know, you may have your thoughts on red versus blue like for other stuff, but like for your landlording business folks, you want to be in a red area because you have more rights, okay? When you lose your rights, you lose money. That's just how it works, okay? So, you know, if you're a tenant, I would understand you wanting to be in an area where it's more blue than red. But, you know, if you're a landlord, it's the other way around. That's just, that's just the way the cookie crumbles, okay? So, Cleveland is a little blue dot in a nice red state. So, like, Cleveland is still super landlord-friendly when compared to, like, hellholes such as Jersey, New York City, uh, the entire state of Portland, uh, Portland uh, and, you know, California, right? But uh, it could be more landlord-friendly in Ohio, places like Elyria, right, in Lorain County. So that's why I really like it. Now, this property, we only got two photos, just two outside photos, right, because we have two tenants that have been here a long time, the listing agent and the seller uh, did not get us any pictures, but we do know their rents. One is a one bed, one bath. It's six twenty-five. The other is a two bed, one bath. It's five twenty-five. That's what they say. Investment opportunity: fully rented multifamily home. Home is in the historic district and subject to certain regulations regarding updates slash repairs. That means we can't like change the structure and stuff, right? Like. No, putting on additions, shit like that. But that would be cost prohibitive anyway. We ain't going to be doing that. So that's really nothing you got to worry about. Two long-term tenants that pay on time right in the heart of an up-and-coming downtown. The first floor unit has one bed, front living room, and a formal dining area that has been used as a living room. Uh, wood floors throughout, full bath, and access to the basement. Laundry is located in the kitchen. Second floor unit has two beds, access to the attic, living room, kitchen, and full bath. Okay, so we got a two and a one, six and a quarter, five and a quarter. But notice the two, the two bedroom units actually the, the one getting lower rent. They're only getting five twenty-five, right? The one bedroom is getting six twenty-five. This is good because what this means is we have like a mom and pop seller who hasn't really caught been keeping up with the market and they've just been keeping rents lower. Like they obviously know their one bed uh, is not worth more than their two bed, but they just, you know, put their tenant in there, they're on autopilot, they just leave them be. So this is why this is a really good burst strategy. And the fact that the market is kind of tanking right now is great. They're only asking 64.9. We need to jump in on this immediately and pick this up at 64.9 because this is a burr of all burrs. First of all, you could just buy it right now, cash today at 64.9 and do nothing, nothing, and just collect the cash flow, right? You could do nothing and just increase the rents, right? Or you could do what I would do, buy it, slowly increase the rents, if the tenants move out, then renovate the units when and only when they move out, and then do your refinance when mortgage rates should be even lower. If we do that, that is the ideal strategy for this property and for making a lot of money. Check this. Market rents. Updated units. A 2-1 and a 1-1 one, one in Elyria right there. We'll be looking at 85700 1550 18600 Okay. How's that going to perform? 1550 comes in. Holton Wise does all the management, maintenance, construction, insurance, everything you need done, folks. 744 should be your estimate of what it costs on average to run this every month. That leaves you with a clear NOI of about 805 or almost 10 grand for the year. Now, my assumption is that we'll be able to turn both of those units for about 15k a pop, right? So if you buy it at 649 you do 30K in rental, you're all in at 94.9. When you do that 30K rental, though, it does not have to be tomorrow, folks. You already got two long term paying tenants in there. Ride them tenants out till they move out. Then do your reno, do your turnover, and then at that point, you do your cash out refi. 
assuming you do it down the road, these interest rates are not going to be at 7% for a very long time, right? This is a temporary thing uh, that the Fed is doing right? The Fed is manipulating the market, which is causing mortgage rates to go crazy high because they're like super worried about inflation. Inflation, you know, Sleepy Joe, he let inflation run away. That's what he does. He sucks. Anyway, remember blue? Blue sucks. Anyway, so doing that, this property, folks, with an 815 to $700 tenant in there, just a $115,000 property all day. That means we created twenty. dollars thousand dollars more than twenty thousand dollars twenty thousand one hundred dollars in equity by just buying it and just making some money and then doing some turnovers when that time comes so you pull all your money back out eighty six thousand two hundred fifty that would give you approximately fifty two percent return on your money because you only got eight thousand six hundred fifty bucks left into this deal right in totality, you essentially invested ninety four nine, which you really didn't because a lot of that would be your rental income anyway because you don't have to do this right now because it's already making money. Uh, but once it does appraise at about 115 which would be very easily able to do with two renovated units ready to rock and roll like that, bank kicks you back 86250 folks. We're looking at making after your new mortgage. You're taking home approximately four thousand four hundred twenty-six, but you only got eight grand into the deal, dude. So you do that for two years, and then it's all free money. It's on top. You've got no pennies into this after that, right? This is a banger in the fact that we're at where we're at, right? The fact the market's tanking, the reason the market's tanking, the fact that we got a mom and pop seller, right? All these factors allow us to jump in and make a freaking killing, right? Putting together beautiful, specific. Uh, multifaceted deals like this is how I made friggin' millions after the last crash, and I'm helping you guys do it right now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.